Hi, this is Ida Devine, and you are rocking with Groundbreaking Video Productions. This is Groundbreaking Video Productions. We're here rocking in Charlotte, North Carolina. We are the voice of the Carolinas. I go by the name of Chinaka the Flygerian. Right now, I'm rocking with the lovely Miss Ida Devine. How you feeling? I feel wonderful. This is a beautiful night in the Queen City. I'm just ready to do my thing. You know, first I like to compliment you because you look wonderful. Thank you so much. You see this blonde natural hair, it's just, it does something for my skin and for the whole universe, I think, you know. Well, thank you. I appreciate that too. So, um, really I, I want to get into the, the song Grow Up. Yeah. So, um, you going to perform that tonight? I am. I'm going to perform Grow Up. Um, that that song was the first song that I released as a as a uh, professional artist, and it seems like the song pretty much skipped over the states and went directly overseas. Um, it, it it was like it was in the states for maybe like three months, and then it went directly overseas. The first place that it went to was Kenya, and now it's in Amsterdam right now, and in Paris. And they're playing it in clubs, and they and they absolutely love it. So, um, I I have yet to go over there, but uh, we my management has been talking to some people over there about distribution and things like that. So, I'm excited about it. I'm gonna perform it tonight. So, uh, hope you guys like it. I definitely love performing that song. It's it's just a fun, soulful, reggae, poppy, hip hop, R and B, soulful. It's just a it's a wonderful song. Everybody loves it. How is it feeling just getting your music out to the massive or cross seas? We're not just talking about it in the States, but we're talking about crossing the waters and people are really embracing that. Yeah. How is that feeling? That feels wonderful. Um, when we did it, uh, when we did the video and uh, you know, I just started blasting video over there, it's like I got immediate response from like Africa of all places in Kenya, Africa, Nairobi, Kenya. They, they were playing it in the clubs like three months after I released the song. So that's a wonderful feeling. I mean, you know, those are people and I definitely want to touch them. And if I can touch them and I, I feel like I'm on the, on the, on the, on the path that I, I'm supposed to be on, you know what I mean? Just reaching out to children actually and youth and just people who are, who feel like um, the message of music is not there. You know what I mean? I definitely want to change that. You know, you have an interesting style. I would like to say it's, it's, I like to say it's delicious, but it's very enriching. But how would you describe your style of music compared to everybody else that's out here doing their own thing? Okay, well, I mean, you know, artists, as an artist, you definitely want to shine individually. You want to be unique. And it's, I'm definitely speaking from a biased standpoint because I'm talking about myself, but I, I was initially a lyricist. I'm from Staten Island, New York. I grew up around Wu-Tang, so that is the beginnings of my career was rapping and writing and poetry. And then it gradually went into singing, so I merged the singing with the lyricism, and that's out of the vine. So who do you have on some of your production team? I know you talk about your management. Who are some of the people that's helping you bring some of this music to the forefront? Uh, we got, uh, <laughs> I got my, my dude here, Jojo, the producer, and he's done some things. Um, all, all, all these people who are, who are uh, behind Ida Divine are, are stars in the making themselves. My management, Y Square, CMG, Carolina Music Group. Um, of course, just the local, local producers in this area who, who just want to, you know, want to show what they can do. And um, that's pretty much it. You know what I mean? I like a lot of hip hop and soulful and live type of sounding music. So, um, Anybody who's doing that, I fuck with them. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to say that. Are we getting? Are they? Everybody left. Okay. They're probably out there waiting on you to come. You know, do your thing on stage, though. So, what all are you performing tonight, though? I'm performing "Grow Up," and I have a special, special surprise. So you just, you just gonna have to see, cause I'm not gonna tell you. I'm all about surprises. You're not gonna let out a secret? Hell no, never. I like surprises as long as they don't hurt anybody physically. I like surprises. You know, you got a strong image. I know as soon as you walk in the room, you grab all the attention. Yeah. So I mean, like, how is that coming about? Like, what do you what do you do to prep yourself for shows? Like, um, well, I'm a raw foodie. You know, I like vegan food. I like to juice vegetables and things like that, and just really get my mind right and get it off of anything artificial and man-made. 
and that's pretty much how I prepare for shows. I do a lot of meditation. I do a lot of backward and forward thinking, which means I go back all the way into my childhood and think about what I'm doing right now compared to what I was doing then and what I want to do in the future compared to what I'm doing now and really try to focus and, and pull those roots up and really get myself grounded. So what are you working on these days? Well, I'm finishing up my album. Um, I have a show in Philly at the legendary Dobbs Theater in Philly where the Roots Band was, was uh, discovered. <laughs> on next Wednesday, I have an interview with Power 98 uh, at 10 a.m. And uh, we got a lot of things coming up. I got some Ohio dates and some Fort Lauderdale dates. Yeah, I'm on promo tour right now and trying to finish up the album before I start really, really touring. Yeah. So what is it? What is going to the item? The album going to be titled? I don't have a title for that yet, but uh, a lot of it is uh, very. I, I really, you know what? I'm going to be speaking from a biased point. The album is awesome. I'll just go ahead and say that it's just awesome music. It's just awesome music. It's just music that you want to ride out to everybody who is behind the making of this album and who are on the inside team just they, they're like we can't wait for it to come out we want to listen to it now so that's really good to hear now when i first heard your name i said what i said it again out of divine i said woo out of divine i said wow that's a that's a strong name where did you get that name from well originally uh the name the name has two meanings ida divine was a a wife of a mobster in las vegas yeah, but what happened was, what, see, what had happened was Ida was the wife of a man named Niggy Devine. Mm. And Niggy owned one of the first meat lockers in Las Vegas. Wow. You understand? So he had the first meat locker in Las Vegas where you would keep all the meat very cool because you're in the desert. So you could understand how much money was coming through that meat locker. There was all these hotels and restaurants and we needed to keep the meat cold. So mob, mob money ran through this business. So in order to pay off the different mob bosses, Ida would get on a train and go throughout the country paying off the different mob bosses, and the FBI would be chasing her all around the country, and they could never find her. And that's Ida Devine. So like in San Diego. Pretty much. And so the second meaning of my name, Ida Devine, is a Ida, is, a, is that spear, that African spear that's shaped like that. That's an Ida, and divine is to enlighten or to shine. So it's a, it's a name with much heavy meaning to it, and it means a lot to me, and I thought long and hard before I called myself Ida Divine. So for a lot of people that's inspired by your music, if they actually wanted to do some, do some tracks with you, how hard or how easy is it for them to get in touch with you and be able to collab with you on any kind of tracks? Well, first of all, if they are doing the kind of music that is in line with giving positive messages to people, I'm all about that. It's not hard to get in touch with me because I'm on Twitter. I live on Twitter. I live on Facebook. So if you want to get in touch with me, that's cool. Um, yeah, but if you have a positive message and you got a good following and people like what you're doing, then I'm probably going to like what you're doing. So hit me up. Fellas, fellas, I know they're going to be asking me this question the whole day. I don't see the ring, fellas. So, uh, are you uh, engaged, single, or are you dating, or exclusive, or what's going on with that one? Um, I'm an R&B diva. We're going to leave it at that. <laughs> well, I tried. So, um, you know, hit up on Twitter and find out. Yes. Yeah. Maybe I'll tell you on Twitter. I don't know. So, how, how, how strong is your Twitter game? Well, my Facebook game is stronger than a Twitter game right now, to be honest with you. I maxed out on Facebook, which was my first goal. I was like, I want to max out on Facebook first, and I did that. So I've got about over 150 subs subscriptions after I maxed out. So that's pretty good. And um, like page is doing really good. I'm almost about 1,000 on Twitter. Yeah, but my Instagram is a fool, too. So, you know, so, you know how we do. We like to take them, the mirror pics. Oh, yeah. I'm a mirror pic chick sometimes. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, don't be hating on the mirror. Those are some of the best damn pictures you ever seen. Be honest. Right about that. Okay. So yeah. um. See the cameraman is agreeing too. He agrees. Oh yeah, he's back there smiling. Because, <laughs> Those hey, are the best pictures. You know, I'm, I'm not even gonna say what he's gonna be doing after this interview. He's probably gonna be running right behind you the whole night. Uh, but you know, we're gonna keep it on a professional level. Right. So how do? Oh yeah, you're good now. <laughs> <laughs> so 
I know you have a strong stage stage performance. Yeah. How do you describe your performance on stage? Oh, uh, it's it's meant to be with what with what I'm doing and with with what I'm saying and what I'm portraying and giving to the listener. It has to come across as very shocking. It has to come across very strong to the point to where nobody's looking at their phone, nobody's going to get get a drink from the bar. Everybody's just locked in right now because you don't know what I'm going to do. So you need to be there for whatever I'm, is, is, is about to happen. So I'd say it's um, pretty entertaining. A lot of people uh, really, really like my, my stage show, and that's good. I've had some acting in my background, too. So so that, that, that plays its part when I'm performing as well. Can we expect any more acting from you or any more any modeling? Actually, um, well, yes, yeah, some modeling for um, just a makeup line that I'm doing and um, some acting. I'm doing a, uh, I'm reading a script actually right now for um, for a film company here in Charlotte, um, Visual Link, and they're they're uh, they're doing some um, really good stuff. And I'm reading a script for a part that is not like me at all. So I'm excited about that. I respect that. I respect your whole movement. I respect your style. It's wonderful. Even the smile. Everything is on point. And I, I really enjoy you coming here, rocking with Groundbreaking. Matter of fact, it's an honor for us to come rock with you, though. But um, let the people know how to get a hold of you. Let them know the whole Twitter game, how to get in touch with you or send you kind of messages. Okay. You can get in touch with me at idadivine.com. Or you can go to my Twitter at Ida Divine or Facebook at Ida Divine. And, and before I go, I just want to correct the spelling for everybody. It is Ida Divine with two I's. Two I's, not a D-E-V-I-N-E. -E. I'm not sure what that is. I know that's how you spell divine also, but divine is spelled D-I-V-I-N-E when you're talking about Ida. Thank you. One last thing, though. First you said Wu-Tang. I think about Wu-Tang. Then you said Roots. I start thinking about the little, you know, the slow, smooth, yeah. neo-soul type of... Yeah, right, yeah. Right, mm -hmm. right. So, what do you have in your iPod right now? Or what are some of your favorite oh, albums that you're buying yeah, right now? Well, I've got CeeLo. I've got some Foster and the People. You know who that is? Yeah, 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 yeah. All little yeah, kids yeah, with the pump up. I got some Nina Simone. Of course, I got a Quemini. I got Shaka Khan, I got Lauren Hill, I got a little bit of Future. Yeah. Well-rounded. Hey, I appreciate y'all rocking with us. It's been a wonderful time right here with Miss Out of the Divine. Again, she said with two eyes. Make sure you follow her on Twitter. Plug in with a groundbreaking. Check her out on Instagram, Facebook. Well, she's maxed out, but you can still check out on the, on the Facebook thing. And yo, y'all keep in tune. Thank y'all for plugging into the show. We are. This is Groundbreaking, the voice of the Carolinas. Groundbreaking, and we out. <laughs>